In this video, we will discuss some basic filters inside Photoshop CC. Filters are like layer styles. They have various types of effects and combinations of effects which you can apply. There are a number of designers who use filters and work with them very deeply to come up with many creative combinations and images. Here I have an image on which I'm going to apply different filters to make it more effective. Look here in the filter menu. Here you have a bunch of different categories of filters. I suggest that instead of paying attention to the filter names, you should apply them one by one and check what they're really doing with your image. Because the output of any particular filter is totally dependent upon the image on which you're working. Here we have Blur, Distort, Noise, Stylize, and many more groups of filters. The Filter Gallery is the option where you can see the preview of all the effects of filters before we apply them. Look, here is the list of filters which we have seen before in the Filter menu. You can also apply the same filter effects from this drop-down list which contains all the filters together in a single list. Let's try some filter effects on our image. Make sure this eye must be on so that we can see the preview effect of every filter effect on the image in the preview panel. Now just click on the filter which you want to apply to the image. You have to experiment with every filter to find the proper effect for your image because filters give different outputs for every different image. Let me try the poster edges filter. Here you can see some options to modify the effects of the selected filter. See the changing effects in the preview panel when I drag these options left and right? Finally, when you're done experimenting with filters, just hit OK to apply the final effect to the image. Notice the difference in our image after we have given it the filter effect in the filter gallery. It has sharpened all of the edges and made the image look like it's painted. Let's try to make this image more effective. For that, let me take a duplicate of the layer. Here you can see a set of different blur effects. I choose Gaussian Blur. It will blur the whole image. Set its value around 3 or 4 and hit OK. Now change the blending mode of this blurred image to Overlay. You can see how the feel of the image is improved, even before we have given any effects to the image. It was a very dull image, but now the colors and feel of the image have improved very much. So I hope you got the basic idea of filters, and how we can use them, and how they can help us to raise our creativity. Guys, this was the last lesson of our course Photoshop CC for Beginners with Guru99. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed this course. You can visit our website www.guru99.com for more free online education courses.